Shut up and sit down. Welcome back. Well, I've got a little request here uh, to do uh, the unsinkable dry. Um, this, I believe, was a Rob Edmonds pattern. Uh, made for fishing in big, wa big waves and for pulling through big waves. It's not a fly I use myself, but uh, they're easy enough to tie. So let's crack on. I'll show you. So the thread is uh, UTC 70 in red. Uh, hook is a 175 size 10. And use a nice heavy hook for this one because we're putting the uh, the foam on the top of it so just catch that in <clears throat> okay these have got equivalent of breathers and for that here we're using a little bit of thin uh, pearl mylar um, and I'm just going to double it over twice so double it over once double it over again the breathers as such but it's another little bit of attraction it's more of a pulling fly this is than an actual dry fly i don't like to use them i prefer to use proper dry flies uh, when i'm dry fly fishing um these have a similar sort of effect to fishing a booby really it's just a bit of a disturbance pattern but nonetheless so doubled over and doubled over again so that comes along the body at both ends and then we're just going to clip it there, there, a little bit of an attractor there at either end there, that's all that is. So with a thread back here, we're going to uh, tie in the the, uh, the foam cylinder. Oh, actually the first thing I need to do is pop a ribbon there, don't I? So, silver wire, just need to tie, I almost forgot there. Tie in the silver wire, because you're going to need to rib this back on itself. Pop in the silver wire, there we go. Uh, and then we need to put the foam foam in for the uh, makes it the unsinkable dry or near enough so the foam is actually half a booby cylinder and it's a cylinder of booby cord cut in half um, and this is what gives it its buoyancy okay so one end of that is going to sit at the back here and we're just going to give that a little bit of a shape at the end there so just for my scissors I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shape on the side there I don't suppose it makes much of a difference maybe it makes it a bit more aerodynamics just a bit of a shape there and then I'm just going to pop that and it's not going to overhang massively but just enough and then bring the thread up and just secure that in with half a dozen wraps be careful when you're putting thread through this foam especially using this UTC stuff if you're pulling it too, too tight it can cut through um, the booby cord and it's the same when you're doing booby eyes as well so just nice and easy going on it and that that will hold in there so the body for this is uh, Silsfer uh, and this is the one that most people are familiar with is the orange shields fur is the one this pattern I think the fully mill pattern is orange uh, so that's what we're going to tie here so I'll just take a generous dubbing of that like so just dub that on and and it goes to form body so I just hold that back and then just start to work that on just like so just to foam the body now you don't want to go all the way up the hook you want to see if you have plenty of room up the top here right because you still got to get a hackle on this and we've got to get rid of this as well so what we're going to do with this now is we're going to pull this fairly straight and then we're just going to secure that in there okay just like so and then going to tie that down all the way to the eye like that. We may as well trim this down now because we don't need that anymore so just trim it like so leaving this sitting up proud like that that's what helps create some of the disturbances that has been pulled through the water it gives that, that gloop gloop as it gets pulled through the water um, right next bit bring your rib up through the, uh, the foam again not too tight so as to cut it but tight enough as to hold it and then just 
Oh, that's not through the foam. Form that body effect like so. Catch it in behind the eye. Like so. Trim off the excess. Uh, and then we want a bit of heckling around here. Okay, so uh, uh, hen heckle again. I'm going to use a, a furnace uh, cape for this. And this is the furnace. Just give it that different sort of effect. So I've selected a feather from there and stripped it back as before to the useful part. And I'm just going to catch that in behind the eye. So you're actually putting this on last so that's in there I'm just trim off the excess there get your hackle pliers and then just work that round four times like so work your thread up through the hackle trim off your waist And then just push everything back, try and get these everything just pushed back and then just finish just behind the foam there. There's a bit of a finisher. Just like so, just finish that in there. drop of varnish on the thread as always as I said I do have a few of these in my box I use them for clients um, one thing I know we're taking people out fishing with dry flies um, for the first time and quite a while they get a bit obsessed with you must see the dry fly um, and dry fly with a bit of fun when it just gives them the confidence that this is more than likely is floating in anything but the biggest of waves and we've got that sealed up last thing to do is just to rough this body up anything with a bit of seal spur in it we're just going to run your velcro brush over the top of it and uh, just rough it up a little bit pull some of that out Give it a lovely lifelike effect just like that okay and that is your unsinkable dry nice easy tie um, yeah it's the same great in a wave it ain't gonna sink it's not gonna you're not gonna lose that in a big wave hope you enjoyed it um, click like click subscribe and I'll keep turning out the videos thanks very much